All right, team. Looks like we are good to go. Welcome back, BFit Nation. Welcome back to a Motivational Monday, a holiday edition, which means we are going to push a little bit harder, a little bit faster with our tempo as we do uh, during our live programmed workout. If you're new to the BFit program and the BFit live workouts, welcome. We extend the welcome. We would like for you to join us for today's workout. Um, now's a great time to set up your workout space if it isn't available to set up yet. Um, if you have any resistance, such as dumbbells, kettlebells, uh, anything that can add weight to the specific movements that we'll tackle for today, go ahead and grab that as well. Again, welcome in. Um, let us know where you're joining from. Drop us a note in the comments below. I have my video screen up. So if you have any questions, any comments, any modifications that you would like to see for any different, any different types of movements that we're going to a hit for today. Uh, go ahead and again, drop us a note in the comments below. Um, also, let us know what your goals are to finish out the year. We have just a few weeks to finish out the year. So let us know some of your goals, some of your fitness, your health and wellness goals uh, that you'd like to achieve by the end of the year and start thinking about those new goals uh, that you'd like to see for the beginning of 2022 team. Okay. I know it's a holiday season coming up uh, throughout the rest of the year. So stay strong. All right. Stay on track and keep pushing uh, through, throughout the weeks here. Uh, but uh, the timing for today, jumping into the workout, the timing for today will be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements within four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Once again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. I'll go ahead and demo each of the four movements that we have for today. It's a full body workout here. Um, with resistance, so with added resistance with dumbbells, I will grab, and then um, we'll jump into some dynamic stretching, and then we will hit up the workout, which is just under 20 minutes, okay, 20 minutes, 35 in total for the BFIT Live, but 20 minutes for active work, okay, team, so <clears throat> as we get settled in, okay, I will jump in and demo each of the four movements that we have uh, to go through for today. Again, welcome. Leave us a note in the comments below. Let us know where you're joining from. And I'd like to see uh, everyone's uh, encouragement, motivation, and uh, you know, coming out strong for today's Monday workout, Beat the Nation. All right. <clears throat> movement number one, we are looking at a full lower body with an upper body combo movement for today with a pair of dumbbells here. So <clears throat> movement number one, we have a squat to a thrust. So squat thrusters for movement number one. If you have a pair of dumbbells, uh, you want to go ahead and front rack them in the uh, <clears throat> front rack position. So you want to set yourself up with a nice solid foundation, feet, shoulder width apart. As always, soften at those knees. With your dumbbells, you're going to go ahead and grab them left and right front rack, which just means we are going to hold wrists underneath shoulder, wrist, under, wrist, <laughs> wrist underneath elbow, sorry, uh, at our shoulder level here. So make sure that we are resting just in front of the shoulder and not on the shoulder. That's gonna help engage our biceps with that hold, okay? Nice solid foundation with our foot placement, right? Feet shoulder width apart, soften at those knees. We're gonna drop down into our low comfort level of our squat. From here, we're gonna extend up and then into an overhead press, palms facing each other. Control that weight on the way down, back to your front rack position. And again, push those hips back, Knees track over our toes with a squat to an overhead press. That's going to be squat thrusters for movement number one. All right, team. Patrick from Cleveland, nice to see you in our BFIT Live. I hope you're going to enjoy this workout for today because it's going to take a lot of effort for, you, for us to get through these next three movements. Starting off with movement number two, we are in a T push up position, okay? Core activated, core engaged, chest isolation and a little bit of mid to upper back and tricep work with a T push-up and a rotation at the top. So this is calling for a nice strong high plank. Again, 40 seconds of work here. We have a few options. We can go into that high plank position, hands stacked underneath our shoulders. We're down with our push-up from here. We're gonna extend up, taking left or right hand, making a nice big T formation, okay? Nice straight line from your Left hand all the way down to your right hand, all right? Back is flat, hips stay square to the floor, feet shoulder width apart, T rotation. Come back down into your push-up, extend down, push up, and then alternate left arm and right arm, okay? Gaze follows our fingertips. If we need to regress, let's drop down to 
our <clears throat> knees for our push up here back into a high plank and then rotation. Okay, so the push up is going to be the modification, then you're back up into a high plank and then we have that rotation. If we need to scale back a little bit, let's go into modified push up with a high plank pause. Okay, we'll take that rotation out of it. That's going to be the, the scale back modification for the T push up. All right, team. Movement number three <clears throat> is a bit of a um, <clears throat> combo movement as well, okay? One dumbbell or no dumbbell. <laughs> Either one here, okay? If we wanna scale up the movement, we'll add weight. If we do not, let's go ahead and go with body weight first for this first set, okay? Step one, we're gonna go into a deep squat. So we're here in deep squat and we're gonna hold this, let's say half squat for the duration of that 40 seconds, okay? Deep squat here, from here, we're gonna go back into a reverse lunge. And then whichever lead leg is forward, we're gonna add in a twist. 45 degrees, head and torso follow with that twist, engaging our core and our obliques as we come back to center, back to your deep squat, reverse lunge and core twist. Back to center, still holding that low squat, reverse lunge, core twist, okay? So that's a deep squat, reverse lunge with a twist to incorporate some core activation, oblique activation, and some isometric hold. A little bit of hold with that deep squat, okay? That's gonna be movement number three. Last and final movement, we're gonna do a progression of a four point hold. <clears throat> so again, this is gonna be core activated. You'll feel it uh, second, third in uh, some shoulder work, glute activation, hamstrings, but primarily core activation. So four point hold progression uh, through each of our four rounds. We're gonna go ahead and scale up this movement, but our base movement is going to be a four point hold. <clears throat> Just like in movement number two with that T push up, our hands are gonna stack underneath our shoulders. Our knees are gonna stack underneath our hips. <clears throat> We're gonna raise and elevate our knees just a few inches to where our back is nice and flat, nice tabletop position here. This is gonna be your four point hold. For round number one, it'll be a four point hold right here. For round number two, we are going to add in a shoulder tap. So you have a four point hold here and we go to shoulder taps, right hand, left hand, left hand, right shoulder, right hand, left shoulder, just like we would in a high plank position, but we are down into a four point hold. Round three, we will jump into a leg kickback. So four point hold, nice strong foundation. We're gonna go into a leg kickback. And the last and final round, it'll be a surprise, but we can pick from every, any one of those rounds to execute round number four. But we will scale up as the rounds progress. Four rounds in total, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, time to have some fun. Tina, how's that sound? All right, we're looking good, we're looking good. <clears throat> um, again, um, hydration, grab your water, grab your towel. Um, dynamic stretching is what's gonna come up first. So. Just as always, we want to make sure that our body is nice and primed, nice and ready to go uh, with blood flow, with some stretch. Dynamic stretching is what we're going to call for up first. So let's jump into some dynamic stretching, okay, team? We want to take that right leg. We want to extend it back to our glutes, push our hips forward. Opposite hand goes up, nice and proud, up into the sky here. Really thinking about shoulder mobility and <clears throat> mid to upper back, really squeezing at the top. But Hips go forward, feeling that stretch in our quad, right? Whichever leg is going back, you're gonna feel that stretch in the front of your leg. We'll sit in each of these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds. So go at your own pace here. If you need to sit in this uh, quad stretch for a little longer than I do, perfect fun. If you're a little shorter and wanna go ahead and run through some nice quick stretches, that's fine as well. All right, last two here. Seems about good. All right, team, reverse lunge with a reach. Since we have some reverse lunges uh, up with us for movement number three, this is gonna be a good dynamic stretch to warm up with. So top of your workout space here, you're gonna take that right leg, you're gonna extend it back into that reverse lunge, take that right hand up and reach over to your left. Back to standing position, left leg goes back into your reverse lunge, left hand goes up, reaches over to your right side, feel that stretch, in your lats, on your left and or right side. <clears throat> Good. 
again, at your pace here, at your comfort level, as always, these movements are meant to challenge you, <clears throat> but also we wanna accomplish them to our comfort level, right? To our fitness level, <clears throat> wherever we are today, let's go ahead and select a weight that's challenging for us, but also attainable, right? We also want to be safe with our movements. Here we go, last one here. All right, lateral lunges here. So nice feet are fixed forward, nice and wide stance here. From here, we're gonna shift our weight over to our right and to our left, pulling some <clears throat> quad dominant um, isolation here, as well as the stretch inside of our inner thigh. Left and right, keeping our chest up as well. Good, really opening up our hips here, really focusing on those hips. We have a nice full body workout for today, <clears throat> resistance-based workout. So be mindful of each rep. We want nice quality reps, nice, great form with us for today. So <clears throat> listen for any coaching cues throughout the four movements that we tackle for today. Here we go, last three, last two, last one. All right, Tim, good job. All right. A little bit of upper body mobility here just for the T push-up, a little spinal rotation in that thoracic spine. So let's go with YTWs to round us out for our dynamic stretches here. Nice, strong foundation. Again, feet shoulder width apart. Center is going to be here in front of our chest. We're gonna make a nice big Y with our arms here, thumbs facing the back of the room, coming back to center, big T, <clears throat> excuse me. Again, bringing our shoulder blades back and a big W here, again, thumbs facing the back of the room, feeling that stretch in our shoulders, really warming them up here, big Y. Let's go three more rounds here, big T, big W, a little bit faster here, big Y, stretching out a little taller, big T. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out, good. Last round here, Y, T, and your W here to finish this out, showing off those biceps. All right, team, let's go ahead and freestyle. Ever, if you need any additional stretching, now's a great time to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer here. That way we can go ahead and get ready to work. Again, find the weight that works for you. Squat thrusters are up first. So anything that we can squat and press overhead with is a great weight to start off with. All right, team. <clears throat> All right, Beefish Nation, let me know how we're doing here. Let's get ready to work here. My timer is set. So 10 seconds here, and then we are going to jump into our workout. So 10 seconds here, squat thrusters are up first in five seconds, set ourselves up, feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at our knees. Let's get ready to push those hips back. Front rack, our dumbbells here, 40 seconds of work. We are down into our squat, and then up into an overhead press, all right? Palms are facing each other with those with that overhead press. Good. Let's keep it up, team. Drive up through those heels. Engage in our quads. Sitting back in our hips. 15 seconds here. Keep it up. Driving up again. Good. Engaging our glutes. Our quads. Last eight seconds. Finish this out. Out in three, two, one. Last rep and recover, good job. T push-ups coming up next, 15 seconds. That was a great time to catch our breath here. <clears throat> get ready to get on deck. If you have a mat that you need, let's go ahead and lay that out. <clears throat> Five seconds here, we are down into our high plank position in two, one. Here we go team, <clears throat> high plank position, stack our hands underneath our shoulders once again, pushing up, feet are shoulder width apart. A good little reminder here, the wider our foot base is, the more stability we'll have, the more balance we will have whenever we jump or actually rotate up into that high uh, T rotation. Good job. Little core activation as well to hold us into that high plank. Less than 10 seconds left. Whew, nice strong T formation. Out in four, three, two, and recover, good job. All right, team, we're back up nice and tall here. <clears throat> this next movement, movement number three is where we have a deep squat and a reverse lunge plus 
a twist. Deep squat, reverse lunge with a twist coming up in five seconds. Catch our breath here. Two, one. All right, team, here we go. Feet, shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees. Find our low squat position where we want to hold from here. Right leg goes back, reverse lunge. Nice proud chest, twist at the, the bottom. Back into your low squat, reverse lunge, twist. Your twist should be at the side that your lead leg is. So if your left leg is forward, your twist is to your left side. Good, 10 seconds here. Gauging our glutes here, quads, hamstrings, core. Nice, three seconds here, two, one, recover. Good job, good job. All right, team, four point hold coming up next. <clears throat> this one may look a little static on the screen, but keep us nice and tight. Let's talk through this for 40 seconds. We are up in three seconds, four point hold, one, 40 seconds here, stack those hands underneath our shoulders, lift those knees up, elevate them, and they are underneath our hips. Nice, strong tabletop position. Our back should be nice and flat. Good, lift those hips up. Knees should be about four inches above the floor here. Good, feet shoulder width apart. Feel like you're spreading the earth here with your fingers and your hands. Last 10, your gaze should be right in between your hands here for a nice neutral spine. Last three, two, one, recover. Good job. Nice first round, B-Fit Nation. Good job. 50 seconds here of rest, 60 seconds in total. This is where we get a chance to recover, right? We want to reset our minds, reset our bodies. So round number one is complete. If you feel like you're tight in any additional areas. Now is a great time to kind of stretch it out. Really think about scaling up in weight for these next three rounds. That's a great idea. Squat thrusters. Again, if you feel like you have additional reps in the tank for from that last round, go ahead and scale up here. Now's a great time. 20 seconds here. All right, team. Good job. Stay with me here again. A holiday weekend, now's a great time to keep active, to stay active, to keep pushing through. 10 seconds here, grabbing the weight here, setting myself up. Squat thrusters coming up in three, two, one, front rack position here. Again, stack those hands underneath our elbows here. We want the most support from our wrists down to our elbow. That's gonna help engage our bicep as well, nice. Hold, really exhale as you drive up into your standing position. Good, feet shoulder width apart, drive those knees out. Good, keep that chest up as you come down into your squat. Last five seconds. We got two more reps, one, last three, two, and your second rep, good job, recover here. Woo. All right, we are warming up here. Less than 20 here, 13 seconds here, T push up. All right, the goal here, high plank position. I want you to be nice and strong with your T push up. Slow your tempo down just a hair. Two, one, here we go, high plank position. Your head is looking down at your fingertips, down into your push up, send up. Nice rotation here. Again, your gaze follows your fingertips. When you push up, think about activating your chest, activating your pecs here. Good, halfway there. Good. Again, with our push up here, we wanna be mindful of our arms. Elbows should make an arrow formation rather than a T formation. Last three seconds, two, one, and recover. Good job. Good job, standing up nice and proud here. Nice and proud, nice and tall. Good job, 13 seconds, 12. Deep squat, reverse lunge with a twist coming up. All right, team, we wanna scale up. Let's go ahead and grab one weight here. 40 seconds on the clock. Going down into our low squat here. Reverse lunge, core twist. Good. 
Again, your reverse lunge should be shoulder width apart as well. As you go back in to that reverse lunge, we are twisting to the side of our lead leg. Chest is up. Stay with us here. 12 seconds here. Keep working. Out in five. Last three, two, last rep. Finish it out wherever we are and time. Good job. Recover here, recover. All right, team. Four point hold here. Let's go into shoulder taps. <clears throat> Five seconds here. Four point hold with shoulder taps. We are up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Four point hold. Again, hands are underneath shoulders, knees are underneath hips. Nice flat back. Right hand, left shoulder. Left hand, right shoulder. Try to keep the swaying to a minimum. Good. Hips nice and square to the floor. Back is nice and flat. Your head is looking straight down. Core is nice and tight. Bring that navel back to your spine. Focus on our breathing as well. 10 seconds, team. Good. If we need to hold our four, four point plank, four point hold, let's just hold. Last three, two, one. And time, good job. Ooh, what's great about that four point is not only are we really contracting our core, but we're also engaging our lower body. So you're feeling that hold within your quads, your glutes, your hamstrings, and then making our way back up, feeling that work within our shoulders as well. So a nice complimentary movement to the two push-up and the squat thrusters. Good job. Stand up nice and tall. Chest is up nice and proud, arms up if we need. Walk it out if we need. We have 28 seconds left here to recover. Good, halfway there team. Stay with me. Again, let me know. Let me know team, let us know what your goals are for the end of the year. 13 seconds here. Good job here. <clears throat> All right, five seconds team. Let's grab some weight. We're up in three, two, one front rack, hips are back into our squat. Nice overhead press. Good. Again, we're moving with purpose here with our resistance training. Be mindful of each rep, our quality rep here. Form correct, feet shoulder width apart. Push those knees out as you drive up through your heels, keeping our chest up. Hands are stacked underneath our elbows. Last five seconds here. One more rep in this. Exhale on the way up and recover. Good job. Catching our breath here. Standing up nice and tall only for a second. We have two push-ups coming up. Good job team, eight seconds here. High plank position, we are up in three, two, one, let's go team. Again, think about our foot placement as well. Shoulder width apart, nice rotation, coming back down. Focus on our breathing as well. Deep breath in on the way down, exhale on the way up. And as you travel up into your T rotation. Good job. Woo. Good. Reset our feet as needed. Eight seconds. Five, out in three, two, one, and time. Good job. Woo, round three. Okay. I see you, round three. <laughs> Good job. Let's give us some encouragement, Beach Fit Nation. Stay with us here. Eight seconds, deep squat, reverse lunge, twist. Up in three, two, one, here we go. Shoulder width apart, deep squat, reverse lunge, and your twist. We need to remove any one of these. Let's go ahead and do it, team. We just need to go up into a reverse lunge. Let's do it. We wanna minus that twist if we need to. If we are not there today, that's okay. Good, 17 seconds. Control our reps. Think about our foot placement. 
out in five. Last three, two, one, good job. Good job. All right, four point hold once again. This time we're looking for glute kickbacks, leg kickbacks. So four point hold here, 10 seconds left for recovery. We're up, kicking our legs back in a straight line here. In three, two, one, here we go, team. Four point hold. Left leg goes straight back. Think about engaging your glutes, engaging your glute as you kick back. Again, nice flat back. Your head is looking straight down. Pointing those toes down as well as you extend your leg back. 20 seconds here, nice flat back. Good. Nice tabletop position, hands, shoulder width apart, feet shoulder width apart. 10 seconds here. Good. Five, finish this out. Hold it, hold it, two, one, and recover. Good job. Ooh, round three, we see you. We see you, we felt you, <laughs> and we showed up for you. Good job. 50 seconds of recovery time here. Good work, team, good work. Stay with us here. Stay with us. Good. 30 seconds here while we recover. Grab that water, towel off here. Again, accountability here. So don't forget to share these BFIT Live workouts with your friends, with your families, with your spouses, siblings. Let's share, let's keep each other accountable during those what could be tough times of getting through the holiday season, finishing up the year, right? Remember why we started here, most important part. No, it gets challenging. Remember why we started here. Seven seconds here, find that weight. Squat thrust is coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, same front rack position. Last round, best round, let's finish this out. Good, again, keeping our chest up. If we don't have any weight, perfectly fine. Let's go through that same motion, same movement pattern without the weight. Make a nice strong fist here. Let's dial in our form. Keeping our chest up as we go down into that squat, drive up, overhead press, 10 seconds. Good, finish this out, out in three, two, one, and time, good job, good job. There we go, team. Last round, best round. T push-ups, you won't see it again. <laughs> good job, team. Finish this out here. T push-ups coming up. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Set ourselves up. High plank position. And we're working, team. Our toes stay on the floor here. Good. <clears throat> Good. 20 seconds here. Finish this out, team. We got it. Pushing through, this is where we really need to dig deep. Good, last 10 seconds. Finish this out. Add in four, three, two, one, and time. Recover here, team, recover. Woo. Standing up nice and proud, nice and tall. Good, find our breath here. 10 seconds here, deep squat. Reverse twist, coming up five seconds. Here we go team, three, two, one. Low squat, reverse lunge, and our twist. Good, stay with us team. Good. Again, our twist is to that lead leg side. Lest, find that, dial it in, finish it out. Out in five, last three, last rep, finish it out. Good job, good job. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Last and final round here, last and final set. Four plank hold, four point hold. 
This time we're gonna focus on control stability. Choose from any one of the three four point hold modifications before this. All right, four point hold, here we go. 40 seconds on the clock. We are up, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Good, find our breath here. This round, we're looking to scale up on our movement. Opposite hand to opposite leg, full extension. Set ourselves up here, 20 seconds left. Nice deep breath in. Leg kick back, arm reach. Good, nice flat position here. 10 seconds to your team. Finish this out, out in three, two, one, and time, good job. All right, all right, standing up nice and tall, nice and proud, Deepin Nation. Good work today as we recover here, as we recover. Don't forget to smile. Every day we get to move, every day we get to work to progress and stay active. It's a win, it's a win. Good job. As we recover here, go ahead and grab that water, grab that towel. All right, BFIT Nation, again, great work today. Way to dial in on today's resistance training workout. We had four different type of really advanced movements for today. So great work today. Again, to sum it up, we had a squat thruster for movement number one. Great thing about squat thruster is not only are you going into a squat, engaging our hamstrings, our quads, right? Below the knee on balance and stabilization, but also our core engagement as we thrust up and incorporating our shoulders into that overhead press. Movement number two, T push-ups. Again, core engagement, shoulder activation, glutes, hamstrings, quads, knees all the way down for that high plank position. Then we're really firing up our chest into that push-up and then adding a bit of stability and balance control with that T formation, that nice big T, right? That's really forcing us to stabilize and, and counterbalance from a three-point hold on the floor here as one arm goes up into that rotation. So really activating our spine with that rotation, but also engaging and firing up our full body for that control and balance into that high plank. Movement number three, a nice three-step progression here down into a low squat hold, right? Really a different isolation movement into that low squat form, right? However low our low squat is, that's where we held into that isometric hold right there, just really isolating uh, glutes, hamstrings, quads into that low squat. From there, sending one leg back, really disrupting the balance, engaging our quads, again, hamstrings and glutes into that reverse lunge. And then really firing up our core again with a nice twist, okay? Really just adding a little bit extra into that twist, really fires us all up in a full body workout. And that last and final movement, that four point hold progression, if you felt that, uh, let us know in the comments below. Let us know how you like that four point hold. Again, nice strong core is essential to that four point hold. Again, firing up our shoulders, our triceps, glutes, quads, hamstrings, and hip flexors as well. So again, nice four point hold, very simple hold, but very, uh, very experienced and very, uh, just a great tool to add into your regimen of workout team. So great work today. All right. Um, again, happy Monday. Way to start the week off nice and strong. Again, share this workout with uh, anyone that you may feel uh, is needs that extra push, that needs that extra accountability or not. Just share for future workouts. Save into your playlist. Again, all of our BFIT Live catalog playlists are here on our Exchange Facebook page under BFIT Live under that playlist. If YouTube is more your speed, more your platform, head on over to our Shop My Exchange at Shop My Exchange a YouTube playlist where you can find all of our BFIT Live program workouts available on that platform as well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Shop My Exchange. Follow us and let us know how you like those workouts on that end and uh, make sure and share that uh, YouTube playlist as well. All right. Again, all workouts have been different through the year and a half, almost a year and a half worth of workouts. So they're available to you team. They're out there. Uh, we encourage you to stay active, to help stay ready, to help stay resilient 
and to help stay fit team. Again, the exchange is here to support you in your mission to stay mission ready uh, with exchange restaurants, as well as smart snacking options at our express stores. And we have you covered with the latest and greatest in athletic apparel gear and fitness trackers, all of the above here to keep us ready and uh, ready to stay active team. All right. Well, that's it for BFIT Live today with BFIT Ambassador and myself, Roy Montes. We are signing out. Have a great rest of your week. Have a great holiday. And we will see you again next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. All right, team, signing off here. Cheers.